Oakley has added two new Sutros to the collection. Stay tuned for a full comparison review between the Sutro, the Sutro Lite, and of course the Sutro S. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name's Andrew and I'm the Oakley brand expert here at SporterX and I've got some really exciting stuff to cover today. But before we get into these sunglasses, I do want to talk about prism lens technology since that's such a part of Oakley. Now prism is Oakley's contrast enhancing lens technology and it works through the use of specific dyes in the lenses. And these dyes help to separate colors. So those more distracting colors are muted out while the colors that your eye is more sensitive to are increased. And that overall separation of colors is what increases contrast. And that's what prism lens technology is all about. Now there's tons of different prism lenses out there. For example, if you're thinking about getting one of these versions of the Sutro for road cycling, there's a prism road lens, which is specifically designed for that environment. It helps you spot those cracks in the pavement and potholes ahead of time, making for a safer, but also more enjoyable riding experience. But if you're wondering which prism lens is right for you, we've got tons of prism lens reviews you can check out on our channel. By the end of this video, I hope to answer all of the questions and give you all the information you're looking for. But if I do happen to leave anything out, please let me know. You can add it in the comment section down below and I'll personally get back to you as soon as possible. Now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and jump into the similarities of these sunglasses. One of the first things you're gonna notice about any one of these Sutro sunglasses on the table is that full shield coverage. So you get that prism lens technology with tons of sun and wind protection, making any one of these sunglasses perfect for cycling or mountain biking. Another similarity between these models is that O matter frame construction. That's Oakley's proprietary frame material, and it makes the sunglasses super lightweight, but also highly impact resistant which is another reason why they're great for any sort of physical activities. And of course you get that saddle bridge here and that's made of unobtainium, which is Oakley's proprietary grip technology. And that only gets stickier and tackier the more you sweat, which really helps to keep these sunglasses in place and on your face. Now taking a look at the differences between these models. If we're gonna talk about the Sutro Lite and Sutro S, we should kick things off with the original Sutro, which came out last year in 2019. And right off the bat, it was an instant hit. As I mentioned before, this frame design with that full shield offering tons of coverage made it very popular for cyclists and mountain bike riders. And this year, Oakley wanted to expand the Sutro franchise with the Sutro Lite and the Sutro S. Now we'll start out by talking about the differences between these in terms of the overall size of the frame. So the original Sutro has a Sporter X frame width of 139 and that translates to a men's large and a women's extra large. The Sutro Lite fits the same as this original Sutro. So again, same Sporter X frame width, more of a men's large and women's extra large but the sizing does become different when we talk about the Sutro S. This has a Sporter X frame width of 132, which translates more to a men's medium and women's large. Now, one thing to note, the Sutro S isn't like a traditional Oakley XS frame. Oakley is notorious for coming out with a standard fit frame and then an XS style, which is more geared towards youth. But because this isn't the Sutro XS, it's just the Sutro S, it's more of a half step down in sizing. But we have a full review on the Sutro S as well as Sutro vs. Sutro S if you wanna check that out. Another thing worth mentioning on this Sutro S is the base curve of the frame. So they didn't just take the lens from the Sutro and slap it on the smaller frame because you would lose out on the coverage on the sides of the frame. So they actually matched the wrap or curve of the lens to the smaller frame size here. Now moving over to the Sutro Lite. And here with this model, we have two key differences between the Sutro Lite and the original Sutro and Sutro S. The first of which is this additional unobtainium grip on the inside of the temples, which isn't found on the Sutro or the Sutro S. 
And the second part is this semi rimless frame design. So without any bottom rim of the frame there, you have an even more expansive downward view out of this lens. Now, a lot of you have asked in our Sutro vs. Sutro S video for me to actually try on the frame so you can see how that sizing really compares. So I'm gonna throw on the Sutro light. And for me, I have more of a small to medium head size, so this is definitely gonna look too big on me. The original Sutro here, of course, a little too big, but then the Sutro S tends to fit me a lot better because again, Sutro S, smaller size, I have a small to medium head size, so that makes sense. To quickly recap, the Sutro and Sutro Lite are the same size. The Sutro S is smaller than both of these models. And if you're looking for additional grip, especially on the temple arms, definitely go with the Sutro Lite. But if you choose any one of these three models, you're gonna get that Omatter frame construction, that unobtainium saddle nose bridge, and of course, that full shield with that prism lens technology. Be sure to let me know which Oakley Sutro you like best in the comments section down below. And of course, if you like this type of content, there's tons more like it on our channel. You should really consider SporterX your go-to source of information for anything Oakley related. And when you subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to know every time this new content comes out. We also have something here called our See Better Guarantee, and that's our overall promise to you that when you shop with us online, we'll make it as worry-free as possible. So if you end up getting product and you're not completely satisfied with it, we'll do everything within our power to make sure that we do right by you. We also don't charge any sort of restocking fees like other online retailers, but if you wanna make sure you get your order completely dialed in that first time around, you can always pick up the phone and contact one of our certified opticians on the phones seven days a week, or you can live chat with them on our website at sporterx.com. Thank you so much for watching this video today. We have more related content here. And of course, you can always follow us on social. We're on Instagram, at sporterx. We're also on Facebook. And of course, you can always check out our website, sporterx.com. And those links are all down below. Later.